Hello and welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, you have learned how to use Hibernate ORM Panache Entity. In this video, you're going to learn how to use Hibernate ORM Panache Repository with Quarkus and Postgres. First of all, let's create a new Quarkus project. The dependencies that we need to use are RESTEASY JAXRS, RESTEASY JAXON, then inside data, Hibernate ORM with Panache, JDBC driver PostgreSQL, and database connection pool. Inside the POM XML, we have all our dependencies, so RESTEASY, Hibernate ORM Panache, RESTEASY JAXON, Agrol and JDBC Postgres. Very good. Let me clean a little bit the workspace. Go inside the movie resource. First, let's create our entity movie. Will be an entity. with an ID, title, description, director, and country. Let's put the annotation ID and annotation generate value your column length equal 100 this one column length 200 Let's generate the get reset method. Very good. Now let's create our movie repository. So create a new class. Let's annotate this class with the annotation application scope. And this class must implement the panache repository of movie. Very good. Now let's use the re this repository inside the movie resource. And inside the movie resource, let's create the method to fetch all the movie, to fetch a movie by ID, by title, by country and then the, the endpoint to create a movie and the delete a movie by ID. So let's start. The first thing is to inject the movie repository. Then let's create the method to fetch all the movie. In this case, we can use our movie repository. So type movie repository dot. You can see here, we have a lot of methods that we can use, like the list, the find, the find by ID, 
the count, persists, etc, etc. In this case, I'm going to use the list all. And let's return these movies. Let's move on and let's create the method to fetch a movie by ID. In this case, movie repository dot I can use the find by ID, but in this case, I want to use the find by ID optional. And I'm going to return the movie entity. Otherwise, I will return a response with status code not found. And now let's create the method to fetch a movie by title. Again, I can use the movie repository dot. In this case, I want to use the find method. Here I will put, of course, title because I want to find a movie by title. And in the same way, I'm going to use the single result optional. And again, I will return the movie. Very good, as you can see here how it's simple to create uh, this endpoint using of course uh, Quarkus and Panache repository to fetch uh, the movies. The, other, the, the final get method that I want to create is the get movie by country. And again, I can use the movie repository and I, I can use in this case the find. But I want to show you how you can create your own method inside the movie rep repository. So let's create our specific method find by country. Let's put the country. And of course, I want to receive a list of movie. and I'm going to return this list. Very good, so let's uh, implement the find by country inside the movie repository, create method. In this case, I can return a list and inside the list method, I'm going to write the specific query. Now let's go back inside the movie resource. And now let's create the method to create a new movie. In this case, it will be a post. Of course, I need to put a transactional annotation.
and here I can use the movie repository dot persist with the movie and then I can check if the movie has been persistent movie repository is persistent return response created otherwise I will return a response with the status code or better request last but not least let's create the method to delete a movie by id delete don't forget the transactional annotation And again movie repository dot delete by id delete by id deleted return if the movie has been deleted i'm going to return a response with no content otherwise a response not created but uh, with the status code uh, not found dot build very good so we have created uh, the method to, to fetch all the movies uh, to fetch a movie by id by title and by country and then the method to create uh, and persist a movie and the method to delete a movie inside the database now let's go inside application properties to put the properties to connect to the database gdbc url gdbc very good now let's open the terminal in this video i'm going to use the docker uh, postgres image so the only thing that i need to do is to run the, the image so i'm going to open the terminal and type docker run Very good, now the database system is ready to accept connections. Good. Now open the terminal, the tab, and type mvn compile quarkus dev. Good, and our server is up and running list and import 8080, and here you can see all our dependencies. Hibernate ORM, ORM Panache, JDBC Postgres, uh, Rest Easy, Rest Easy Jackson, etc. So now let's open Postman to try all our endpoints. So here select get, then HTTP, localhost, 8080, slash movies, send, oh, oh, very well, our list of movies empty. Now let's open a new tab. 
here select post again the same endpoint now click on body json and here let's create our first movie this one will be my first movie so, title description director and country click on send well, the response created now let's add the second movie title description director and country very good now let's go back inside the get method click on send and here you can see the the two movies that we had now let's try for example to search by title very good is working then let's do it by id good and finally by country very well is working now let's try to remove uh, the a movie by id open a new tab delete and here let's put one very good now let's go back on the get and now we have only one movie very good you can find the source code of this video inside my github repository quarkus hibernate or m panache repository feel free to clone it and thank you for watching this video i hope you like it if you have any question don't hesitate to contact me and see you in the next video about quarkus bye